All right, so today, everyone, we're going to be just finishing up the lab. Okay. One of the big parts of science is doing experiments and looking into things, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out the way nature works. That's what scientists do. But students often don't get to do that. They only get to learn about what other people discovered. Our goal is to really have students learning science the way scientists learn science, by doing it. Inquiry Space combines both hands-on and computer-based activities and experiments so that kids can go deeper into inquiry and do what we're calling extended inquiry. I think it's a lot more fun because it's actually hands-on, so we're actually seeing a experiment and testing it out in our own way. What most teachers really want is for students to have a deep down understanding that goes beneath them, just the facts of the situation. So one of the real benefits of, of using inquiry space is that students get a much more thorough understanding of the topic. I was more involved and more able to practice on my own with my group, which made me learn more. We want kids to have a deep appreciation for science. We feel that if they're just spectators, like you're watching a football game, you don't really understand about passing and blocking and whatever until you actually do it. I think it's like a better experience. You understand the material a little bit more, and it's like hands-on, so it's like, it's fun. It's different because I'm not there just delivering things. It's them figuring things out on their own with this question. They're playing around with the materials. Um, they're using computers, which they really love to use technology too. When you come to school, it's like no technology is allowed, but suddenly we have this opportunity to actually use it, and not just for like social networking, but for like educational purposes. I'm starting to get more into science, and it's a lot more fun. We're making it possible for students to take a lot of data and compare their data graphically without a single equation anywhere. The graphs give them a huge advantage in being able to analyze what they saw and try to understand patterns. And so the technology we're providing gives them those tools that they didn't have before. When they show their results, they're doing it via screencast. So they make their own video, which shows the graphs that they've made, the data that they collected. To prepare for their screencasts, they rehearse it by talking to each other. Just hearing them talk it out, it really shows they're just thinking at a higher level. It was kind of interesting because I already like doing it physics and I found it kind of challenging though so doing it in this way like actually being engaged with it helps a little more. The Concord Consortium in this project in Queer Space is just well planned out and I really like the way they went about um, scaffolding the difficulty making it really easy in the beginning and progressively taking away the, the structure. It's definitely making me a better teacher because I guess the best way to remember and learn is when they have experienced it themselves.